Okay, this is a J-Man time and today I have a video on one of the rarest military projects from Afghanistan that was developed during the years in which the US and NATO troops were in Afghanistan. And this vehicle project here could have been Afghanistan's first true unmanned combat vehicle or in this case, an unmanned combat ground vehicle. And this vehicle was the Aziz UGCV, or unmanned ground combat vehicle that was developed between 2017 and at least 2021. Now, way back in 2017, the Voice of America, or VOA, in Afghanistan ran an article on a couple of college kids or at least high school kids, they had developed their own concept vehicle for a light experimental unmanned wheeled combat tank or combat vehicle that was built in the town of Jibril located in Haret province, Afghanistan. This vehicle here was pretty much an unmanned IFV in a way or an unmanned infantry fighting vehicle that was developed to support the Afghan National Security Forces or Afghan National Army at the time. Now the Afghan National Army did not have any drone vehicles. They mostly used American and old Soviet weapons that had been given to the Afghan Army over the span of 20 years, the US backed Afghan Army. This vehicle here was developed by a young college or high school kid by the name of Azizula Aziz, along with his team of either high school or college age robotists. These were students that were training in the arts of making their own robots and other automatons or automated robots or robotic vehicles. This vehicle here could have been Afghanistan's first unmanned combat drone. The vehicle seems to have been armed with either two 7.62 millimeter light machine guns and a rotating turret in the front of the vehicle. In the rear of the vehicle, it also has what looks like either four RPG-18s or four rpg 26, 28s, or 29s, and those are Russian shoulder-fired anti-tank rocket launchers. This vehicle has no armor as this is just a concept vehicle. A fully armored version has never been developed. The vehicle can only move at walking speed, so only about 6.4 kilometers per hour, or about 4 miles per hour, and only one seems to have been built. Now this here is pretty much the most advanced weapon system or weapons concept to come out of Afghanistan in the last 50 years. Keep in mind the Afghans have mostly just been using old Soviet weapons and even when it comes to homemade weapons, they mostly only make homemade guns and rifles and maybe some homemade anti-tank weapons. But this here would have been Afghanistan's first true drone concept vehicle. Now the vehicle was the developed in the town of Jibril at the Jibril School a Technical College. The vehicle was showcased in 2017 and again in 2018. In August of 2021, the city of Haret and where this vehicle was built was later captured by the Taliban during the Taliban offensive of 2021. And at the time, the city was controlled by the Afghan National Army along with some warlord militias led by a man named Ishmael Khan who was an Afghan Mujahideen during the Soviet-Afghan War. He was also a warlord commander fighting against the Taliban way back in the 1990s and early 2000s. But the city fell after just one month of fighting and there hasn't been any more information on this Aziz UGCV that was developed back in 2017 and 2018. So for all we know, they could still be working on it, but I highly doubt it as many of the college and high school age students from Haret and many of the capital cities in Afghanistan have already fled the country either on foot or by plane. So this vehicle project might have been abandoned, but I'm not 100% sure as there has been no information on this vehicle since the fall of Haret back in, in August of 2021. According to Ozzy Zula himself, Back in 2018, he was hoping to get funding from the Afghan government in order to make this project a reality. But we all know the Afghan government turned out to be corrupt. But just imagine what could have been. I mean, the U.S. gave the Afghan government literally trillions of dollars over the span of 20 years. Imagine if some of that money was spent on developing weapons 
for the Afghan army. Imagine if the Afghans themselves were developing their own weapons like this concept vehicle here, the Aziz UGCV. Ultimately, this didn't happen as the Afghan government would collapse and most of its leaders, including the finance leaders, the financial money changers, would later flee to neighboring countries. And pretty much all prospects of developing weapon systems like this have gone out the window. Now, the vehicle could come back or the project could come back under the Taliban leadership, but I highly doubt it as many people are fleeing the country, especially the young people like Ozzy Zula, Aziz, the developer of this or designer of this experimental light unmanned wheeled combat tank or combat vehicle from 2017. So what do you all think of this? This here could have been Afghanistan's first true unmanned combat vehicle but unfortunately it doesn't seem like this vehicle is ever going to make it past the prototype stage so what do you all think of this please tell me in the comment section below and until next time this was a j-man time signing off